we have some new today. We have, now some of this is new to me and some of this is new new. Um, I have the House Labs, this is the foundation. I have not tried it before. So I'm gonna be really interested in seeing how that works, especially since my skin is being very annoying right now. Uh, so we have the House Labs foundation. I also have picked up another shade in the House Blush. This is the Pomelo Peach. And I have two products by Estee Lauder and I have not, used a new Estee Lauder product in years, I think. So this is gonna be interesting. Hey everyone, so as I said in my intro, we've got House Labs and Estee Lauder today. And the House Labs foundation, to be really honest, I had no plans to pick it up, uh, but I picked up the House Labs, that bright pink, uh, I've already forgotten the name of it, put it down below. Uh, and I'm gonna have swatch comparisons between the pink one and the peach one that I'm using today up on Instagram. but. I was so impressed by the, found the by the blush that I thought, well, maybe I should try the foundation and see what I think. The thing about the foundation that's very confusing, at least in my opinion, is that warm means cool. So the shade that I picked up is 060 Fair Warm. And the fair warm is cool. Um, I've known other brands that have done that in the past. I'm just I'm never quite sure why, because it just is confusing. But anyway, we're gonna try it out today, and today is a good day to try it out, because my face, I have red splotches all over my forehead, and it's not acne, it's not pimples or anything, it's just because it's not raised at all, it's red. I don't know what I did, <laughs> I really don't. Um, yeah. No clue. I was at the dentist the other day and I had like a, I was literally at the dentist for four and a half hours. So that was fun. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. So anyway, let's just talk about the foundation at first. Uh, so this says that it's infused with a 20 plus SPF skincare ingredients, 20 plus skincare ingredients, uh, buildable, medium coverage, luminous, second skin finish, ultra fluid, weightless formula. Clean, cutting edge, long wear foundation that delivers superior makeup performance without compromising your skin. It says powered with BioFermet 7 Complex something, 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 something. 12 months, recycled packaging, uh, fragrance free. Anything else I'm missing? I don't think so. Comes in this glass frosted bottle, which is actually a nice bottle. Uh, size, I will put it down below because I don't, oh, here it is. It's one fluid ounce. Top has a silver cap, opens up. It's a pump. Let's pump it on the back of my hand. Oh, that's pretty thick. Okay, that's one pump. Let's just put one pump. And again, I have no idea. I don't know what's going on with my skin. Usually my skin is not, like I get redness from rosacea if you haven't watched my channel before. By the way, if you haven't watched my channel before, hi, my name's Jen. <laughs> or Jennifer, whatever you'd like to call me. Um, my, uh, Skin, I suffer from rosacea, so I get, you know, redness like through here, but generally not on my forehead. So I don't know what that's all about, but you know, the joys of never knowing exactly why your skin has done what it's done. My skin is reactive, I think, more than anything else. So, you know, I might've come in contact with something, who knows? Who knows what it was? But at the moment, it's unhappy with me. We also have, uh, you know, snowstorms here. I'm in uh, outside of Boston, and uh, we didn't get a lot of snow this year, and so now March has decided to make up for it. It's great. That actually looks quite nice. Like it matches my neck. It always looks a little pale. I know, guys, when you first see it, because my hair is dark and my skin is pale. Uh, but my skin's pale, so <laughs> there's really that's just the way it is. Um, but let me, let me look in my 3X here. Yeah, it actually looks nice. It's, it's, it's caught on a little, a few of my dry patches, but I don't have too many. There's just a few. This looks very nice. Like I said, I know I look a little pale at the moment. It's just when I wear a foundation that has a little bit more, not full coverage, but like evens out my skin, uh, I will look a little pale for the moment because my hair is deep. My eyebrows are deep and um, it looks like it's like a mask. So that's why it's really important for me anyway to put in bronzer or contour, those types of things. It kind of helps bring back color. 
to my skin. Uh, Cause again, I'm very pale. Uh, all right, let me uh, grab bronzer. I am using the Hermes bronzer. I figure I have it. I've spent a hundred dollars on it. I might as well use it. Uh, this is Atlas. I don't have uh, the lightest one yet, but I have seen pictures of the lightest one now and swatches and honestly, it looks warm as well. I mean, it definitely looks lighter in pigment, but it looks warm. So I'm not sure if maybe what Hermes did is all their bronzers are warm because, you know, bronzers in concept are just warm. So maybe they didn't do a cool bronzer. I did see some that look like deeper shades. Um, Colorado and Sen, I talked about it on my channel. I, I talked about it on my video that I did that do look like they're cooler, but they also look like they'd be too deep for me. So um, I did buy 01. I will show you 01 when it gets here. I don't think I'm gonna pick up any deeper shades, to be honest with you. If I do have a chance to see them in person and they end up you know, looking like they'd work for me, I will get them and let you know. But for now, it's Atlas and uh, number one when it gets here. I actually think the Atlas looks very nice on my skin. I, I actually think it's a beautiful bronzer. I talked about it in my you know, video review of it. I actually think the formula is excellent and I, I really like it. I just wish it was cooler. That's, you know, that's kind of the bottom line. But the formula's extremely good, I have to say. They, they did a great job. Um, okay, so here's the peach. And this is pomelo peach. Uh, I will swatch it for you in a second. But I also will have swatches of the peach compared to the dragon fruit um, up on my channel on Instagram. So you guys can see this kind of next to one another so you can get an idea. The reason I, I really thought about like picking this up after I picked up the, the dragon fruit, the dragon fruit is very pretty. I have to be careful with it because it's very pigmented. So is this one, as you can obviously tell. Um, but I wanted one that could be like a little bit warmer and then one that could be a little bit cooler. This is a little bit warmer, obviously. Um, and the dragon fruit is, is a cooler shade. What I would say, if if it's too much for you and you feel like, you know, you don't want this much blush or you're, or you're paler than me, for example, all you have to do is do what I just did. Take a little bit of foundation. And I do mean a little. Don't use a lot of foundation because then it doesn't really quite look right. But I would go in with a brush or a sponge and literally... Now you can also do underpainting, which means you put the blush on first and then you put on your foundation. You can do it either way. Um, but I wanted you to see the blush on top, see what it would look like. But I think you can see that very easily you can mute the blush. The blush is really beautiful. I'm very impressed with the formula. It's matte, but it's like a semi-matte and it has a really nice look to it. I'm, I'm actually very impressed. And so far I, I have to say I'm impressed with the foundation because it actually looks really nice. Weird. Um, yeah, it looks, it looks lovely, actually. The blush, the peach, is as pigmented as the, um, as the dragon fruit. It's, it's, there's no uh, lack of pigment here. But again, it's a it's a pinky peach shade, um, and the dragon fruit is a bright bright pink. You can go back and I'll make sure. Well, I'll try to remember to link my video. If not, though, like I said, I'll have um, swatch comparisons over on Instagram between the two shades. They're both beautiful. I mean, it's it's really a question of like what shade you like. I think they will work for practically anyone. I mean, I I really think the pigment in these will work on someone as pale as I am or paler. You just have to be, you know, maybe do underpainting or go with an even fluffier brush uh, up to a, a much, much, much deeper skin tone. They are extremely pigmented and really beautiful. Like I am very impressed. The one thing I will say, uh, there's a tremendous amount of product in here, which again, is not bad. Uh, that's a good thing that they give you so much. It's 0.39, so almost four, almost 0.4 ounces of blush. I won't ever get through that much blush because of how little I use just to put on, because it's so pigmented. So you are, you know, if you have a lot of blush, like I have a lot of blush, uh, the question is, do you need it? 
No, because if you have a lot of blush, you probably don't need another really large brush blush. But what I would say is it is a little different in formula than a lot of the ones that I have because it's not luminous. It's not like an RMS blush. It's not satin even. It's like a semi-matte lumen. It's it's hard to explain, but it's it's got some luminosity to it, but just the tiniest bit. It looks healthy. It's like a very healthy powder. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it blends just really, really well. And it doesn't settle on the lines. I'm very, very impressed with it, uh, with the blush. And it, it wears all day. It doesn't go away. Like, not that I noticed. Like, I, it was still on hours later. So I really, really like it. The foundation I've only been wearing for 20, 30 minutes now. Um, but I have to say, it looks really nice on the skin. It blended beautifully. It's a really nice kind of second skin. Yeah, it looks good. All right, let's take a look at the Estee Lauder products. So Estee Lauder is a, a brand that practically owns all of the other brands. If you didn't know, Estee Lauder, the parent company, owns like Tom Ford and they own everything. Uh, and back in the day, I had actually a lot of Estee Lauder. I used to wear the Double Wear Foundation, which, to be honest with you, is like way too heavy for me to wear now. But uh, when I was younger, I had it. And I actually had a lot of Estee Lauder lipsticks and Estee Lauder and eyeshadows, a whole bunch of things. Uh, but I haven't really bought or worn Estee Lauder in a very long time. Uh, but recently, they introduced a couple of products that looked interesting to me. One is an eyeshadow palette. Marae uh, at Nordstrom uh, did a video, a short video with it. It's like an eyeshadow palette. It looked really cool. The packaging looked really cool. Um, so I might pick one of those up. I don't know. We'll have to see. But the other thing that they have is a new double wear 24 hour stay in place lip liner. Lip liner that stays in place is not easy to find. Um, so, and it's in the color Spice. And I mentioned in another video that Spice by MAC is one of my favorite liners of all time. So I'm gonna, we're gonna look at it next to Spice MAC. Um, and we'll talk about the liner. Also, a lipstick in pure, it's called Pure Color High Luster Lipstick. And it's refillable. So I was like, let's try it out. Let's see. Um, so a couple things. The liner looks like any other liner, right? Uh, sharpener, brush at the end. I never use the brush. It's just not something I do. But I like having it there. Um, oh, this is very creamy. Okay. I like the shade. Very creamy. Reminds me of the Sisley a little bit. I'm putting it next to the Spice Liner from MAC. It's similar. So here's the Spice Liner from MAC. Here's the liner from Estee Lauder and Spice. It's a little cooler from Estee Lauder, a little pinker. Again, here's Mac Spice, Estee Lauder Spice. Let's try it on the face though. I love the shade. It's very soft. It feels like it was really easy to go on. It drew really well. It's not dry at all. The, the telling point will be how long it stays on, like how it stays through a day. That's something that you just have to give it time to see. But just on the shade and the application, I really like it. Feels a little like the Sisley liners, which are some of my favorites. Okay, nice. All right, lipstick. Like I said, this is pure color. 111 Tiger Eye is the shade, and this is the High Luster lipstick. They had different ones. They had ones that were, let's see, cream, and then they had one that was like, I think, was it holographic? Let me look. All right, they have Pure Color Cream Lipstick, Pure Color Matte Lipstick, Pure Color High Luster Lipstick, which is what this is. And then there's a Pure Color Illuminating Shine Lipstick. So those are the four. The Illuminating Shine is in a thinner uh, tube. The High Luster, the Pure Color Matte, and the Pure Color Cream, or Cream, they're all in the same packaging. And they're all $36. The um, Lipstick Bullet itself has little lines in it on the bullet. 
And then the front of it has embossing. All right, let's check out the shade. Ooh, I love it. That's a gorgeous, it has like a little bit like high luster, it has a little bit of metallic. All right, let's try it on the lips. Oh, that's a gorgeous shade. It reminds me of autumn, I will tell you that right now. It doesn't remind me of like spring or summer. It reminds me of an autumn shade. The packaging I think is, yeah, magnetic. I actually like the packaging, it's simple, but I like it. Um, that's the shade again. Again, this is Spice from MAC. Here's Spice from uh, Estee Lauder. And this is Tiger Eye. It has a metallic sheen. But it's slight. Oh, absolutely love it. Just curled my eyelashes a little bit to sort of kind of finish out the look. I'm not going to do other makeup today because I really want to concentrate on these four products. But I have to say, guys, the liner and the lipstick, first of all, the shade is, the shades are beautiful. I love both of them. I love both the liner and the lipstick. The high luster, I think, is sort of like a metallic, has a little bit of metallic uh, to it. Maybe like the Isamea ones, which I have not tried, the horse ones. Um, but this shade is very much like, it's a, it's a almost cool autumn pumpkin shade with a little bit of metallic. It's really beautiful. And the Spice liner is very similar to MAC Spice, but a little bit cooler. The blush from House Labs, this is the peach. Honestly, if you like like a pinky peach shade, it's a beautiful formula. It really does look stunning on the skin. I have no, I have no highlight on, none. I think that's the blush in combination with the foundation. Um, and it's a really stunning formula from the blush. It just, it looks really nice on the skin. Yes, I know it is, it is pigmented and, uh, you know, a strong color. And if you're afraid of that, I get it. But you can certainly put it on first and then put foundation over it like I did. I mean, I put it on top of the foundation and then put foundation on top of it. Uh, or you can just go with a very light hand. But for most of us out there, you're going to be more, you're going to have skin that has more pigment to it than mine does. This blush, I really, I have to say that both of them, the dragon fruit and now this peach, just stunning. And the foundation, I'm really impressed. Um, Triclone High Tech Foundation. It does look really nice. I think you can see that it doesn't accentuate texture, doesn't accentuate any of the dry spots. You saw how my forehead looked in the beginning. Um, it, it covered it, but didn't like mask. It's not like, you know, you can still see that there's a little imperfections in my skin, which I prefer. I like my skin to look like skin, not a mask. So you can see that there's imperfections, but it neutralized them, which I think is fantastic. It doesn't make my skin look or feel dry, which is wonderful. And the Hermes bronzer, like I said, I did a video dedicated to this and swatched it against 25 other bronzers. Um, it is really warm. That's the only thing I can say. The formula is excellent though. It really is a beautiful formula. It's very expensive for what it is, but it is a beautiful formula, but it is warm leaning. Um, I think it actually looks nice on my skin, but you know, it's not gonna be a favorite bronzer of mine because I do like something cooler. This is the way it is. And zero one is on its way, but from what I've seen from others, and again, I don't want to just assume, I want to try it myself. It looks, it looks yellow, it looks warm as well. Uh, and the other shades do look like they have more coolness to them, but they look too deep for me. So there might not be a right shade for me in Hermes. Atlas might be the, like the best. So we'll find out soon, I'll certainly let you know. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. These are, I mean, I want to stop while I'm ahead because this all looks stunning. And uh, I need to uh, I need to get on some calls. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.